everybody, this is North Star Podcast. I'm Kelly Camp and this is Story Bowden and today is Thursday, September 18th. This week we have for you a story on the Ice Cream Social, a feature on the Lackey Twins who are on the JV football team, and a how-to. On September 16th, Spanish Club held an ice cream social. We do an ice cream social, or sometimes it's a pizza social at the beginning of every year, so our members have a chance to get to know each other before we get to anything else. Current members and students interested in becoming members gathered in the commons to enjoy their ice cream and meet new people. Um, my favorite part in the social has been just talking to people that I don't normally get to talk to because I don't have classes with all of them. And Eating ice cream, of course. Although they were there for a good time, there was still business to discuss. We introduced the uh, like the officers of the club, and then we tell them like the upcoming meeting and like how to get involved and stuff like that. And we really want them to get involved. Students turned in T-shirt designs, and the next meeting was decided. After seeing the designs at the social, they will vote for the winner at the next meeting. For new members, don't be afraid to get involved and go to stuff. Um, we're not going to bite. It's a lot of fun and we do a lot of cool activities, so come to as many things as you can. Spanish Club hopes to hold a pizza social later this year, but no date has been set. This year, the JV North football team has something new that they've never had before. Not just one girl, but two. Well, it started off as a joke to us and Mr. Little because, um, I was just joking around, I wanted to know what time practice started. And he said, well, 2.45, why are you going to come out? And I was like, yeah, because you know, I'm going to beat out half of those guys up there. And he said, I bet you could. And the next day, he um, he came up to me, he's like, do you want to come try out to be kickers? And I said, yeah, that'd be awesome. For the girls, there's probably a lot of benefits, you know, a chance to get to play something different. It's good to be one of the guys for once. <laughs> well, not for once, but you're on a team full of guys and they're just all like, yeah, come on, screaming and everything, and you're just like, yay! They're really intense. So, yeah, they're really intense, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I think having girls on my football team is pretty cool because they're, like, cool and stuff, and, like, um, they're actually good, and I don't really think that it makes a difference between, like, guys and girls and all that. The boys treat the girls like football players. They don't they don't differentiate because they're girls. It's really fun because you know they're really nice to us in the hallway and say, hey, what's up? Where's your jersey? and all that. It's really fun. Coach Allison and Coach Casper, they're really cool because they're really nice. It's like, we'll get you in to kick. I mean, we're trying, we're trying. They're just awesome, they're really nice. We all kind of feel the same way. I mean, they're just another person, and they're good. They're good players, and they help our team out a lot. On this week's How To, we're cooking up an apple crisp that only takes four minutes. Hey guys, it's Lauren and Kieran, and we're teaching you how to make some four-minute apple crisps. For your apple crisp, you're going to need margarine, brown sugar, some quick oats, cinnamon, apples, and some various cooking utensils. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to take your two-cup measuring glass, and you're going to want to melt your margarine in the microwave on high. Oh, God. It's fine. I'll mix it. 
Wait, how much is left? Oh, yeah, we're good. Now, place half a cup of packed brown sugar into the butter mixture. Once you put your brown sugar into the bowl, you're going to want to take a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and put, also put it into your bowl. Now you're going to want to add one cup of oats. And then you're going to want to stir. Now you're going to want to make sure that all your oats are co coated with the maple sugar butter cinnamon mixture. Now it's time to slice the apples. You'll need about three apples. Jonathan or Granny Smith will work. <laughs> yeah. Once you've sliced your apples, you're going to want to put them in your tray. Alright, next what you're going to want to do is take your topping that you've made and spread it around onto your apples. Now I'm putting the apple crisp in the microwave for four minutes. Ta-da! We should have jazz hands surrounding me. And now it's burning me. Magical four minute apple crisp. Well, guys, thanks for watching. This is North Star Production. Be sure to check us out next week on Thursdays, our new day.